Hey guys, Uncommon Ramen here. Uh, today we are going to take a look at another one of my Kickstarters that just recently came in. This is uh, Doom Machine. Okay, so uh, one of the things that first attracted me to this game um, was obviously the fact that it was in a mint tin. It can be played solo as well. But also the theme was very post-apocalyptic, almost sci-fi horror-ish. And I was a really big fan of that um, theme. So when I saw this game uh, on Kickstarter, it was almost instantaneous that I that I backed it um, but I did not realize that it was going to be uh, manufactured by uh, game crafters so if you don't know anything about game crafters uh, game crafters I believe is local to the US um, so they're not uh, outsourcing to China or whatnot for uh, components and whatnot uh, which means that as far as like shipping is concerned this game is is easier to um, palette in the U.S., uh, but, um, there is a steep downside to that, and that is component quality. Um, I have seen two other games run through the Game Crafter, um, I guess manufacturers, and, uh, both of them, they were just okay in their, um, quality so we can it, when when we take a look at this we're going to take a look a heavy look at the quality but what you can already kind of see here the shrink wrap here is i mean i've never seen shrink wrap like this this is just uh i don't know i i honestly it's not very tight on there i i've it, you can actually move it <laughs> you can see as i move the seams here um so that's unusual to say the least and the other thing is that I can definitely tell that this uh, title part looks to be a sticker um, it's off-center right here and if it is a sticker that means that it's very susceptible to uh, shelf wear so let's jump into this so we can see what the rest of this looks like I'm not I, I, I don't have high hopes because like I said uh, they tend to have low quality so I was wrong this isn't a sticker this is definitely, or if it is a sticker, it's very, very thin. Um, it's, it, it appears to be printed onto the tin, so the off-centering is just an unfortunate byproduct of that, I guess. Um, so let's take a look inside. Here we got some dice and some cubes. Um, the dice, here. Let me just dump that out. We'll get to the cards in a minute. The dice themselves, for the most part, look like standard quality. Uh, I'm not going to say impressive, but um, it's not disappointing either. Um, yeah, these seem to be these seem to be okay. Um, the wooden cubes that are in included here, um, for the most part what I would expect from anything so let's jump into the cards because that part well okay there you go right off the bat the cards are not even shrink wrapped which is just weird um, but the card quality isn't bad in fact I'm half thinking they're plastic but they but I'm, I'm I can see a core here so they're they might not be plastic I'm not a hundred percent sure um, All in all, this is probably the best quality I've seen from, from Game Crafter, and they may have stepped up the game, um, but, you know, the lack of shrink wrapping on this could have caused a lot of cornering damage, and I'm actually surprised that it didn't. You can kind of see the edge damage that happened here. Well, let's take a look inside. We got uh, Infernal Power Complex, uh, Design Flaw, Recycling Vats. Uh, Impact Nexus, Doom Core, Soul Harvester, some player actions, uh, a hard mode card with a card effect icons uh, cheat sheet there. What I'm assuming is going to be a tracker of some sort. We have the Thought Siphon, the Hard Cycle Storage, the Pulse Pools. The Stasis Generator, the Synaptic Disruptor. Uh, we've got another thing that has player actions. 
Uh, phase. Oh, these are the. Oh, that's right. There is no rule book here. So these are all written on cards, which I just can't stand. Just give me a rule book. Uh, misery extractor. Another tracker of some sort. Uh, cerebral amplifier. Extinction collider. Logic mainframe. Uh, populist grinder. And then the how to play cards. All of this completely out of order <laughs> as far as rules are concerned. Which is just unfortunate. So these are the rule cards. They're all the gray cards. And you can see they're double sided. They do have a page uh, counter on the bottom. So it's going to be up to you to figure out. Uh, basically to, to organize that. Um, we got our cards that... I assume are the different uh, parts of the Doom Machine, um, and then and and like I said, these are actually decent quality. Uh, they kind of feel like plastic. I could be wrong. Um, they're pretty thick. Um, I don't like the fact that they weren't shrink wrap, but that is what it is. Um, we got our two uh, trackers of some sort here, and then our dice and our cubes so that is doom machine and like i said it looks to be like this is a sticker but it also kind of appears to be melted on almost it's textured and it doesn't have a seam at which you can pull it so i'm gonna say all in all not a big fan of game crafter but this was one of their better um, executions of a manufacturing job. So, kudos to you guys. Thank you for that. Um, <clears throat> like I said, this thing just came to me uh, yesterday. So, that was the 10th, I believe. Um, so, you should be expecting to see these pretty soon if you backed it. Uh, if you have any comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, and if you like the video, please like and subscribe. Um, feel free to head to my Patreon page uh, under Uncommon Ramen. Um, it's still under construction, but it's still you can still pledge there if you feel the need to uh, support me. And uh, guys, until next time, peace.